In this video, we'll talk about how to convert from one unit to another without changing the essence of the thing we start with. As we go, it'll be really important to make sure that we cancel our units as we go so that we don't make mistakes. Let's start by converting 460 centimeters to meters. Anytime that we convert from one unit to another, we need to keep in mind which unit we start with and what our end goal is. We are given a length in centimeters, which is what we'll start the problem with. We want to express this length in meters, which is the end goal we'll keep in mind. We'll need to set up a ratio and multiply 460 centimeters, our starting point, to get there. Let's talk about that ratio. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. This means that these two values, 100 centimeters and one meter, are equal. When we express this as a ratio, we can either express it as 100 centimeters over one meter or one meter over 100 centimeters. Because 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, this ratio is actually like saying one over one, which is equal to one no matter which way you write it. So we can multiply something by this ratio and not actually change the thing, because anything multiplied by one is just itself. So now we need to figure out which ratio to use. We know that our starting point is in centimeters and we want to get to meters. This means that we'll use the one meter over 100 centimeters ratio. This allows us to cancel out the centimeter units and leaves us with meters, which is the unit our answer should be in. That's because units are just like a variable in math. x divided by x is 1. So now we can multiply everything out to get that 460 centimeters is equal to 4.60 meters. Because the ratio we multiplied by is equal to 1, the length didn't change. We only changed the units we expressed the length in. But what would have happened if we used the other ratio we talked about? Well, let's look at the units. We wouldn't have been able to cancel out the centimeters. In fact, we would be multiplying centimeters by centimeters, and we would still have meters on the bottom. If we multiplied everything out, our units at the end would be centimeters squared over meters, which doesn't make any sense. This is why it's super important to pay attention to units when doing dimensional analysis problems. Now let's try another one. Let's convert 565 meters into kilometers. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. If our starting point is 565 meters, which ratio will we use to convert this length from meters into kilometers? That's right, we'll use this ratio. It allows us to cancel out the meter units and leaves us with kilometers, which are the units we wanted to end up with. Now that we can multiply everything out, we see that 565 meters is equal to 0.565 kilometers. Now you try one. Convert 0.463 meters into millimeters. Here's a hint to help you. There are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. That's right. 0.463 meters is equal to 463 millimeters. We start with 0.463 meters and we must use the ratio that lets us cancel out the meter units and leaves us with millimeters. Once we multiply everything out, we are left with 463 millimeters. And there you have it. Always remember to look at your units when doing problems and make sure you set your work up in a way that cancels out necessary units and gets you to your end goal.